Presently, with an odd feeling of being watched, I caught sight of something crouching in a doorway. I made a step towards it, and it rose up and became a person. Someone armed with a large knife. Stop right there. Where the hell did you come from? I come from many places a long time ago from Princeton. Princeton, huh? That's near Grover's Mill. <laughs> That's where I lost my best friend. Listen, there's no food here. This is my country. All this and a town all the way to the river. There's only food for one. Which way you going? I... I don't know. I guess I'm looking for... for people. Quiet! Did you hear something? Only a bird. Oh. That's the first bird I've seen Not since. many boards. Not many anything. Hey. We're in the open here. Let's crawl into this doorway and talk. Have you seen any Martians? Nah, they've gone over to New York. At night, the sky is alive with the lights. Just as if the Pope was still living in it. By daylight, you can't see them. Five days ago, a couple of them carried something big across the flats from the airport. I believe they're learning to fly. Fly? Mm-hmm. Then it's all over with humanity. Stranger, there's still you and I. They got themselves in solid. They wrecked the greatest country in the world. Those green stars? They're probably falling somewhere every night. They've only lost one machine. There isn't anything to do. We're done. We're licked. Where were you during that time? I see that you're in uniform. Were you part of the militia? I don't think that's your business. It's a war unlike any war I've read about or seen. Wasn't any war any more than there's war between men and ants? And were eatable ants? Found that out. What do you think they'll do with us? I've thought it all out. Right now, we're caught as we're wanted. The Martian only has to go a few miles to get a crowd on the run. But they won't keep doing that. They'll begin catching us systematic-like. Keeping the best and storing us in cages and things. They haven't even begun on us yet. What do you mean? All that's happened so far is because we don't have sense enough to keep quiet. Bothering them with guns and stuff and losing our heads and, and rushing off in crowds. Now instead of rushing around blind, we've got to fix ourselves up. Fix ourselves up according to the way things are now. Cities, nations, civilization, progress. Done. All done. But if that's so, what is there to live for? Well... There won't be any more concerts for a million years or so. And no nice little fancy dinners at fancy restaurants. If it's amusement you're after, I guess the game's up. And what is there left? Life. That's what? I want to live. And it looks like so do you. We're not going to be exterminated. And I don't mean to be caught either. Tamed, and fattened, and bred like an ox. What are you going to do? I've got a plan. We as people are finished. We don't know enough. We've got to learn plenty before we've got a chance. We've got to live and keep free while we learn, see? I've thought it all out. Go on. Well, it isn't all of us that were made for wild beasts. And that's what it's got to be. That's why I watched you. All these little office workers that used to live in these pre-fancy houses. They'd be no good. They haven't any stuff to them. They just used to run off to work. 
I've seen hundreds of them running wild to catch the commuter train in the morning for fear they'd get canned if they didn't. Running back at night, afraid they won't be in time for dinner. Lives insured and a little invested in case of accidents. And on Sundays, worried about the hereafter. The Martians will be a godsend for those guys. Nice roomy cages, good food, careful breeding, no worries. After a week or so chasing about on the fields, on empty stomachs, they'll come and be glad to be caught. You've thought it all out, haven't you? You bet I have. And that isn't all. These Martians will make pets of some of them. Training them, training them to do tricks. Who knows? Maybe get sentimental over the pet boy who grew up and had to be killed. And some, maybe, maybe they'll train to hunt us. No, that's impossible. No yes, human being- they will. There's men who will do it gladly. If one of them ever comes after me, in the meantime, I... you and I, and others like us, where are we to live when the Martians own the Earth? I told you, I've got it all figured out. We'll live underground. I've been thinking about the sewers under New York are miles and miles of them. The main ones are big enough for anybody. Then there's cellars, vaults, underground storage rooms, railway tunnels, subways. You begin to see, eh? Then we'll get a bunch of strong people together. No weak ones. That's rubbish. Out. And you met me to go. Well, I gave you a chance, didn't I? We won't quarrel about that. Go on. And, and we gotta make safe places for us to stay in. And get all the books we can. Science books and stuff. That's where people like you come in, see? We'll raid the museums. We'll even spy on the Martians. It may not be so much we have to learn. Just imagine this. Four or five of their own fighting machines suddenly start off. Heat rays right and left and not a Martian in them. Picture that. Not a Martian in them. But humans. Humans who have learned the way how. It may even be in our time. Think about it. Imagine having one of them lovely things with its heat ray, wild and free. We turn it on Martians. We turn it on people. We'd bring everybody to their knees. That's your plan? You, me, and a few more of us, we'd own the world. I see. What's the matter? Where are you going? Not to your world. Goodbye, stranger.